this whole you know ordeal or this whole effort by San Diego State is because they were rejected by the Big 12. Welcome into Crystal Ball College Football. I'm your host, Grayson Grunhafer. Today, we're going to talk a little bit of realignment, specifically about San Diego State and the reports that they essentially failed in their attempt to merge the Mountain West, the American, and the Pac-12 into one, quote-unquote, Power 5 conference. Yeah, that is kind of the news, the headline, the story. As San Diego State gets left out, there is no Pac-12 for them to go to anymore. Um, they really kind of hedged their entire bet on being in the Pac-12. And we saw it, you know, when they tried to get out of the Mountain West early, and then there was, you know, they kind of had to back their way back into the Mountain West, and there was all these conflicting rumors. And, I mean, it was just a mess for them with the Mountain West Conference, and they played their hand too early. And now we're seeing them here as the Pac-12 is pretty much gone. They're trying to find a way to just do anything they can to get to the Power 5 level. And I respect it. I mean, that's where they need to be, right? That They absolutely need to be in the Power 5 or else they're pretty much, uh, I mean, they are a Group 5, a mid-major type team. And so they're trying to find a way to get there. They tried to create this merger, which would have been the best teams from the Mountain West, the best teams from the American, and then the four teams, Stanford, Oregon State, Washington State, and Cal into one conference and then call it a power five conference which was part of the the something that made me laugh because in no way shape and form would that be a power five conference but again i appreciate the effort the reason you do that is because the college football playoff pays 80 million dollars annually to each of the power five conferences that's not going to happen for the pac-12 in the foreseeable future after this season i understand the fight but they wouldn't have been keeping status regardless um, but I do think it's a good conversation point, right? Because we're kind of at a, at a moment here where you're looking at Cal and Stanford who maybe go to the ACC, but they're kind of looking around trying to figure out what's best for them. You got Oregon state and Washington state who are actively being recruited by the American and by the mountain West. And then you have the big 12 who there's rumors about, you know, potentially looking at Oregon state or looking at you know, Washington State I, or San Diego State even. I don't see that happening. I really think that this whole, you know, ordeal or this whole effort by San Diego State is because they were rejected by the Big 12. That's kind of my viewpoint on it at this moment. So that's why they made this move. And now I think as we sit here, it looks very clear that Washington State and Oregon State are probably going to end up in the Mountain West or the American, which is going to be a massive hit for those programs. Like, there's no way around it. It's something that we talked about when the Pac-12 uh, lost all those teams. Washington State and Oregon State always felt like the two that were almost guaranteed to get left out. And now they're going to take a huge hit if they join these other conferences, which is why it's probably smart for them to at least wait and hope and pray that they can end up somehow sliding in the back door in the Big 12 or in the ACC. I don't see it happening. I think they're going to take a step down to Group 5 status. Stanford and Cal, on the other hand, are two schools that the America and the Mountain West would love to have. I mean, these would be huge additions for those two conferences. The Mountain West would make the most sense in my eyes, but the American, uh, I think, has better teams personally. Um, but I understand kind of if you keep it in on the West Coast, it kind of makes sense for the Mountain West to take all four of these Pac-12 schools. Um, we'll see if that happens. I don't think Stanford and Cal are going to allow that to happen, though. Like, they didn't have interest in the Big 12. They really were just way above the Big 12 is what it seemed like. They just were not going to allow that to happen. And now they're sitting there with the Mountain West and the American I just don't see it. I think they'd rather go independent and take their chances by themselves than put themselves in a position to look, um, you know, below where their status has them. And that's kind of how I view them. That's kind of why I don't think they fit the Big 12. Um, and I also think that's why they're probably not going to end up in the ACC. But that's just my take on that. Obviously, no, no conference would kill their Olympic sports and even joining the Mountain West would kill their Olympic sports. There's no way they can fund as many as they have, especially Stanford. Um, 
that's going to be where there's going to be a huge hit for them. And it's really unfortunate to see this for all four of these schools as they're trying to figure out what's next for them. But I think the other missing part of this is you look at San Diego State and SMU, two schools who thought they were maybe making that move to Power 5 status, are now being pushed further and further away from that opportunity. Um, college sports, college realignment has completely changed a lot of things. And this is just another kind of resounding sound of sound effect that we're just going to continue to hear. And it's going to continue to happen throughout the sport. We're seeing it with the ACC. We're seeing it with um, even the Big 12 as they try to figure out their next moves. The Big 10, the SEC are seeing they're like, okay, what do we do next? And ultimately, we're just forgetting that there are a lot of schools that have been impacted by this and are going to continue to be impacted by this going forward. Um, but that's it for today. Later on this week, I'll have a little bit of a Big 12 what's next type uh, episode. Um, but thanks for listening. This has been Crystal Ball College Football.